What's going on everybody? It's Cam here at All Things Automotive and today we have a 2019 Ram 1500 Classic 5.7 liter right around 18,000 miles on this one. It's a big horn trim so plenty of nice equipment on this one. It's a little walk around here you can see grill is chromed out, bumpers are chromed out, got the integrated fog lights, big 20 inch chrome wheels on these ones. Take a peek in here you can see the reflection off the rotors. Plenty of tread left on them tires yet. It's at least 80% tread. It's a crew cab. I think it's a six foot box or six and a half foot box on the back. Full match set of Goodyear Wranglers the whole way around. Then we got fairly new brakes and motors all the way around as well. Dual exhaust out the back. Got your tow pack. Back here, you got your hitch and your uh, four and seven way plugs. Also has a backup cam right there. And that does have a drop in bed liner on this one. In the back, you can see plenty of room in the crew cabs. Got nice black carpet. Uh, Mats in the back, diesel gray seats. On the front, uh, up top here, we got the electronic controls for your windows, locks, and mirrors. Um, over here is your headlight controls. Also does have an electronically adjustable seat. It's actually currently the whole way back. All right, give me one second here, we'll just ping up the screen here. There it says big horn. There you can see. 18,475 miles at the time of the video. Parking sensors are off, that's good. Uh, left side here is your wiper controls. Um, left side here is a directional pad that you can actually use to change this little scroll here. Actually, you can see that there. And the front and back and everything can all help change this display up front as well. Typically, people just like to leave it on miles per hour just for the fact that you don't have to keep fighting with your hands to see the cluster on the right. Uh, over here is a gear up, gear down button in case you uh, are towing something and prefer to gear up down um, instead of the transmission doing it. Then it has cruise control settings over here. On the back side of the steering wheel, um, it's kind of hard to see. You see here it has a few little buttons. Uh, has that on the left side and right side of well, the wheel. One is your seek button for your radio. The other one is your volume button and the controls. So um, this one does have the big touchscreen radio in here. You see it's capable for AM, FM, Sirius. As well as you can source select and connect your phone through Bluetooth uh, or auxiliary cable um, and your USB ports. Um, climate is currently turned off. We can turn it on. You can adjust all the climate controls directly from the touchscreen here um, as far as the temperature controls and how fast you want the fans to fan pumping out and turn it down um what other kind of controls do we have mirror dimmer it does have a backup cam like i said and then i think you just click that and it actually shows the backup cam right away uh, which we don't need that Let's see if i can get the oh there's an x there we go hit the x makes sense right um down below that is your this is your gear selector so this would be um for like your more your shifter um, four wheel drive selectors down below that does have a 12 volt plug in down here as well um, plenty of AC controls and stuff over here as well They all, like I said you can control them by the, the touch screen if you want or you can just do it all here as well um, it does have a traction control switch here tow hall, tow hall button and then it does have your parking sensors turn them both on a um, little bit extra storage there in the middle as well it does have a 40-20-40 uh, split front bench so you, you can see it has a center console up here um, cup holders and stuff but also it can be turned into the front seat. Um, say it does have the power rear slider. See that? Up top, we do have an illuminated visor on the driver's side, as well as the passenger side. Uh, what else can I show you? We have a 110 volt plug in here, standard style, and then another USB down there. Two uh, glove boxes on these trucks. You can see that top side there, and then the bottom side, uh, you can see it still has the factory books in plastic, as well as the safety checklist sheet buried in there somewhere that we do here to make sure the vehicle is perfectly safe for you and your family. So if you guys want to check that out when you test drive the vehicle, by all means, please do. So at this time of the video, we're just going to go ahead and do a final walk around. We try to be as transparent and upfront about everything, show you all the great things about our truck, as well as any minor flaws it may have. So just step back here a little bit and then see what we can see. Everything looks good. A bit of marks there. Couple little door dings right there. Kind of hard to see. Walk around the back. A little mark there. Let's 
see anything else on this one. Looks pretty good. So if you guys have any questions about this Ram, by all means, please feel free to give us a call at 717-485-4224. Sales extension is 1502. If you don't have time to give us a call, you can always look us up online at allthingsautomotive.com. And request information about this truck as well as any other vehicle we have on our lot directly through our website. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day.